We know we eat the simanim. There's a number of questions on that. First of all, when exactly do we eat the simanim in the evening? Do we eat them uh, after uh, Kiddush, before Amotzi? Do we eat them after Amotzi? There are a number of variations in the Minagim. Uh, but uh, for us, we eat them after Hamotzi, meaning to say you say Hamotzi Lechem in Haaretz, then uh, you have the, the simanim. The question is, when do you say the Yehir Atzonis? When do you say that? Some uh, uh, rabbis hold to say the Yehir Atzonis, to say the Bracha, for example, Berbiya Etz, then the Yehi Ratzon, then you eat. We don't hold by that because it would be, it would constitute a hefsek, a, uh, a pause and a lapse of concentration between the bracha and the consuming of the item. Therefore, we say uh, ha'etz, we eat, and then we say the Yehi Ratzonis, or you could say the Yehi Ratzonis, then you say ha'etz, then you eat, depending on the min hagim. Now, there is a question that sometimes. The bracha, the, the Yehi Ratzon, oh. So, so as long as the bracha and the eating of the item are, uh, are, are immediate. Now, there is an opinion. Sometimes when you bring, for example, maybe pomegranates, you didn't have it yet, yet this year. And so uh, you have a sheikh yeah. Now the question is, uh, says Rav Shalom Zaman Orbach, he said, beautiful question. You know, when you, if it's in front of you on the table, right? Now you're going to say sheikh for the kiddush of Rosh Hashanah. Would it also include the Sheikh Yanu of uh, the, the, the fruit that you have not yet eaten? So he gives an advice that uh, if you're worried about that, either cover it or put it on the side, and only after Kiddush you bring those items that are Sheikh Yanu to the table. Uh, but also you can tell yourself that you're not having Kavanah on that. Yeah. And you're only, when you say Kiddush, I'm only thinking Sheikh Yanu on the Kiddush itself. When you say Sheikh Yanu on Kiddush, it's on the holiday itself. If you have reached that milestone of the holiday, and you're not... Uh, you should have that kavanah <coughs> for the second night for something new to say Shekhyan. Oh, now on Shekhyan. the second night, very nice, it's good to bring a, uh, like the Ben Ishchai says, it's good to bring uh, fruit to the table. Anyways, you're saying Shekhyan, wala kiddush, but uh, you have kavanah on that. That's very, very, that, that, that uh, it's out of the Ben Ishchai. The question is, as you mentioned the second night, <coughs> do all communities and all rabbis hold that you should recite that the Yehir on the second night or only on the first night. So there's a number of variations <coughs> on it. <coughs> the Ben Yishchai and the Ben Yoyada brings that, what does the Gemara say? Yehir Agil, a person should be accustomed to bring the Simanim and have the Simanim on Rosh Hashanah. So when you say you're accustomed, that's not one time. That's a repetition, to have a custom. And therefore that already eludes from already the origin of the Gemara that it should be two nights. The Ben Yishchai also brings that, and other poskim also bring that it's such a, an important factor to bring these Yehir Atzonis, that if you can, you could also bring it in the morning and say it in the morning. And another question is, what happens if you're allergic to any one of the simanim, you don't like eating any of the simanim, you're too full to eat that and the meal, how do you go about that? How do you say the Yehir Atzonis if you can't eat the fruits and vegetables of the simanim? They ate the wrong. Huh? So, so the answer is that you can have the simanim in front of you. You could say the Yehi Ratzonis without saying the Beracha of maybe a Etz or Adama. And the Yehi Ratzonis in and of itself, you see them, it arouses or it awakens the thoughts and the kind of uh, the consciousness of whatever the, the, the wish or the will is. And you see them in front of you and uh, you can have that even without uh, actually eating them. Uh, the the Yerat Sanas themselves, and it as, actually is pertinent today. A lot of people have allergies, a lot of people have different things, so you can save them without eating them in and of itself. Mentioning.